hi guys welcome back to my channel it feels good to be back i haven't done this youtube thing in a while it's been over a year sorry if i keep looking this way my little one is over here he was supposed to be sleeping but he woke up with my noise but anyways um today's video is going to be about my labor experience and let me just tell you guys, my labor experience wasn't, it wasn't that bad, honestly. Okay, you guys, so my experience was, I think it was on a, it was a Sunday. We went to the lake. I remember we going to the lake and I had told my fiance my stomach hurts. And you know, when you're pregnant, your stomach like in the lower Part of your stomach starts hurting like you feel contractions you know so i was feeling so much contractions you guys like the whole entire day i was feeling them and like it was a it was this feeling like i don't know how to explain it you guys it's like it's so unexplainable but point is i even got on a boat you guys i even got on the boat and let me just tell you guys all the bumps and everything made my stomach hurt so much worse and you guys seriously my stomach was already like i told them i'm like my stomach is hurting so bad like i we need to go you know so when we got home it was around like nine ish ten ish so i told them i'm like you know what my stomach is still hurting so he goes, do you want you want to go to the doctors? And I'm like, you know what? Let me just shower. Let me take let's take a nap for a little bit, and then we'll see. So we took a nap. I I can I couldn't take a nap, you guys. My stomach hurt that bad that I couldn't take a nap. Like it was impossible for me to go to sleep. I woke him up. I was like, you know what, babe? My stomach is still hurting. We need to go now. Like. I, I need to go so there we go to the hospital they check me everything I, I tell them what's going on I t told them that my stomach was hurting so when we got to the hospital the lady was like she checked me if I was dilated and I was dilated four centimeters already and she told me you're definitely having this baby tonight so my fiance got all happy i was already like nervous i was nervous and i was like i was happy nervous so many emotions going on you know so i called my mom and i was like mom come over to come to the hospital i'm gonna have a baby already you know so my mom and my dad come they stay with me so it was my mom my dad and my fiance that stayed in the room with me so i went to the hospital at 11 at night i remember it was 11. and when the doctors would always come in and she kept checking me if i was dilated more and more you guys let me just tell you the pain it's painful i would literally like grab my hair and pull it because it hurt me so bad like I was just so frustrated like I was so frustrated I didn't want nobody to talk to me I just wanted to be alone like leave, leave me alone like don't talk to me and I feel bad because my fiance was there and he was trying to like calm me down like you'll be okay he's like if, if, if it hurts that bad just take that patrol and I'm like no no I don't need it I don't need to take that patrol I got this I was trying to be over here missus I could do it but i was just going through the pain and you guys the pain wow it's unexplainable pain you guys it's it's ugh, i just thinking about it right now it makes my stomach hurt but anyways anyways that happened and then a few minutes later not minutes a few hours later the doctors come in it was already like it was already like four in the morning when she told me that i already dilated 
um, 8 centimeters. So I was already dilated 8 centimeters. My body was doing it all by itself. And the more I dilated, the more contractions I would get. So, you guys, I was just in so much pain. I was already irritated. By like 7 in the morning, it was already like 7, like 7.50. I told them, I was like, you know what, I need a push. Like, and the doctors were like, no, relax. You, you, you still need time. I'm like, no, I need to push. Like, I need to push now. You know, like, I already felt my baby coming out. You know, like, I need a push. So she goes, okay, okay, okay. Let me check. She checked. And yeah, you could really see his head, like, coming out. So I was like, I need to push. If, I, if you guys don't like hurry up, I'm gonna push, you know? So my mother-in-law comes and my sister-in-law, my mom, my dad, and my fiance. Keep in mind, I had five people in that room plus the doctors. I was really, I was frustrated. You guys, I was already frustrated. I was, I just, all I wanted was like, get this baby out of me, <laughs> you know? I didn't keep in mind I didn't have that patrol. No medis no medications, no nothing. So here the doctors are getting everything together and once they were doing that, she was like, I'm gonna count to three. Oh yeah. I literally you guys she she said one and I started pushing. She's like, Okay, you could we could do it like that. That's okay, sweetie, that's okay. You can push whenever you need to push, just push. So I, I was just pushing my ass off. Like literally, dude, I felt like I had to take a shit. That's how that it felt. Like I was just pushing and pushing and pushing and I felt like forever, you guys. I just pushed for an, like, I had them in an hour. Yeah, I had them in an hour and the doctors told me, they were like, wow, you had a really fast delivery. But you guys, I just kept pushing and pushing and by the third push I had him and he was born at 8.50 and yeah you guys that was my labor and experience it was it was pretty fast and just let me just tell you guys it it hurts but you know what if I if I did it without the epidural you guys could do it as well if you're pregnant you know you guys could do it because I guarantee you could do it I know you guys can and if I did it, come on, you guys could do it. I feel proud of myself because I would always sit here and always be like, you know what, I'm probably going to take that patrol because I'm going to be in so much pain. I don't want to be in pain, you know. But I didn't take that patrol and I had him normal. He was born at 50. He weighed 6 pounds and 18.9 the length. He was a pretty small baby. And you guys, when I heard him cry for the first time, my heart, I just cried and cried and cried and I just couldn't stop crying, you guys. And when I hold, hold, held him for the first time, I was just, I fell in love with him until this day. I love my son. He's, he means the world to me and he knows it. But yeah, you guys, that was my labor experience. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will be back with another one where you guys get to meet my little Alan. And yeah, you guys, don't forget to share, comment, and subscribe. Join my little family. I gotta go because he's hungry. But yeah, you guys, um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.